Well, hey there, this is Chase with uh, another Traffic Way for Profit video. And I got a question from one of my team members who wanted to cut, uh, actually copy and paste some autoresponder messages into a campaign. For whatever reason, the way he was doing it, Traffic Way wasn't permitting him to do it. So he asked me, can it be done? Yes, it can be done. And so I'm going to delete that because I'm going to come back and use this text edit uh, window in just a second. So let's uh, let's say that. Um, and I just went over to Gmail, and this is a autoresponder messages uh, message from Ann Seek. And I know that because she's using Get Response, and it's uh, showing that I can unsubscribe. So this is an autoresponder message. And let's just say, I mean, a lot of times I copy content from one uh, great email campaign to another. So uh, I'm just going to scroll down, and this is more than you would probably have to do. But let's just take that and see if we can put it into a traffic wave message. Because if you wanted to, oops, that didn't copy very well, did it? So I'm just going to go up and I will use Command C on my Mac. You would use um, Command or uh, Control. Okay. So let's just pop over to my um, text document so I can strip out all the hyperlinks in the code because that is one one of the things that uh, creates problems. So now I have text, okay, just pure text, okay. And what I would do is just, uh, well, let's just select all and we'll right click and choose copy to copy the text, okay. Now I will return to my traffic way back office and I will go into my campaign manager where all the campaigns, all the letters, everything is done in the campaign manager, okay. And I'll just go into one of my more popular campaigns uh, that I use uh, because I have some preset letters and this member would be uh, able to get those. Uh, so let's go ahead and review some of my letters uh, because I have some down at the bottom that I can use as a template. And what I do is uh, this, I replace the text and type in your subject line. So this is just a template that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this and show you how this is done okay so and by the way we can even uh, I'll come back to the subject line in just a second because I want to replace this so I would take that out delete and then I could put a better subject line I'll do that in just a second now as I scroll down if this were a blank letter I would just paste in here but I'm going to maximize this okay so I can see all of the content of this letter and in this case just this part is typically what I delete and and paste over and in fact I can just hit paste uh, command V boom and there is the email content from and now I would want to remove this duplicate because that's uh, with traffic wave it's going to put the first name automatically there's a slight extra line there. Let's just do that. Okay, so nice. Okay, now this is a uh, crop, and it's 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 designed to be easy to be read, which is fine. And so, if you look at all this, this is awesome. Now, any hyperlinks you would want to select, you can press copy, which I just did, and go up to the link editor, which has got like a chain link in front of the globe, and then you would paste in that. URL okay you can also have it open in a new window if you like okay a lot of email programs will handle that automatically but it's good just to do in just in case click OK and so now that is a hyperlink okay so when a when the reader reads it uh, they will um, be able to click on it and it'll go um, I can do the same right there obviously the rest of this is just stylizing everything and just making sure the hyperlinks are there as I'm doing right now. Okay. And then here's another hyperlink. So uh, you would just put that. I would copy it as I just did. Go to the link editor and paste that in. And it takes out the HTTP and it puts it right there. So don't worry about that. And then just go to target. Say new window. Okay. All right. 
Now, the rest of this is content that I typically like to add because it may interest a person into joining your team in Traffic Wave, okay? So that's a pretty good thing. It's all automatic with my name and my email and their name again, okay? So um, if there was anything else you wanted to do, oh, let's see, let's go to the um, title or the subject line. Uh, and used OK on a scale of 1 to 10. So I could copy that, return back to the Traffic Wave tab. And, and what I might want to do actually is strip out any extra formatting. So this is just a text editor, and it takes out bold and color and hyperlinks. It just makes it text. Okay, so I'll copy that. I'll go back here, and I could just replace this as the headline. Boom. Okay. So when you put in plain text, as I did, it'll remember it on the formatting of the email. Then I could go to in, uh, minimize. And now I could just paste in for the rest of the subject line, put a space, and then paste. Okay. And then I could uh, save this letter or I could proofread it. I'll go ahead and proofread it, which will just show you how well this works. So Traffic Wave syncing it. You can highlight all your tokens, and the tokens are where it puts in a replacement text, such as the first name in the subject line, also in my email up here, and anywhere else throughout this, it just puts in the yellow, blinking yellows area where it, Traffic Wave will put in information right when the email is sent, okay? The other thing I can do is use sample data in sorry my let's bring that back up so now i can see what what data is actually being entered into the highlighted areas okay so it's in, and it's just going to be john it doesn't do a bunch of names it'll just put in john whatever your na prospect's name is that will be uh, there of course the hyperlink uh, works uh, you should be able to click yep it, it does work hello now. greetings good evening so that, that link uh, worked, um, and you could check all your links, and then you can see at the bottom, it puts your subject's uh, prospect's name there. It has my ID for the Traffic Wave join link, has my name and all that right there. So pretty awesome stuff. Even has the unsubscribe links and all that down below, and even puts in this little message as a way to view it online, okay? So once you're done with that, I'm going to just close this proofreading. And then I would just go ahead and save this letter. In this case, I'm not really going to save it because it's just a test for this video. But that is how you would basically take the content of one email and put it into a Traffic Wave letter. And then you would just do that for every additional letter and make sure you save it and either uh, leave it as a broadcast or assign a day uh, to the sequence. So the days are on the right hand side. So zero, one, two, three, all these letters go out in certain days. These are automatic in the series and these are broadcast. So if it doesn't have a number, it means you broadcast it whenever you need to, or maybe it's just being edited or finalized. If you put in a number, let's say like 45, and then click Submit Delay Changes. This will go out 45 days from the day they subscribed. So there you go. Hope this helped. We'll uh, see you on the next Q&A uh, video where I show you how to use Traffic Wave, which is an awesome autoresponder, by the way, because it's a flat raise as opposed to an increasing scale of payment as your subscribers and campaigns and all that increase. So anyway, have a great day. This is Chase Swift.